Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So uh, here we have 1 over m plus 1 over n equals to 1 over 13 and we solve this problem for the values of m and n where m and n is belongs to n positive integer. It means that we solve this problem for the positive integer values. Okay. So now here the very first step we are going to do is here first we multiply both of the sides. Uh, by m n so now we multiply both of the sides by m and n so uh, this implies that uh, here we multiply m and n on each of these terms and it will be written as m n multiplied by 1 over m plus m n multiplied by 1 over n equals to m n multiplied by 1 over 13 okay so here after this step uh, we need uh, to make some simplification so that now you see here uh, this m is cancelled out by this m and here we uh, get only n and plus this n is cancelled out by this n and here we get m and this is equals to m n divided by 13. So when you multiply m n by 1 then you get here m n over 13. Okay. So here further we need to move this 13 uh, in the left hand side so that uh, now we multiplying on both of the sides uh, by 13. So when you multiply both of the sides by 13 it will be written as 13 times of n plus 13 times of m is equals to 13 times of uh, m n divided by 13. Okay. So now this 13 is cancelled out by this 13 and here we need uh, some simplifications and uh, it will be written as uh, so this will becomes here 13 times of n plus 13 times of m is equals to m times of n okay so now here we move this m n uh, uh, in the left hand side or in other words we move this 13 n and 13m to the right hand side so that this equation is written as mn minus 13m minus 13n is equals to 0. So uh, after this step here we need uh, to add uh, both of the sides by uh, 169 okay so now here we add 169 on both of the sides so that when we add this term on both of the sides then uh, this equation is written as in this form uh, this will be written as m n minus 13 m minus 13 n and here we add 169 on both of the sides of this equation okay so you get here uh, the output in this form and now here we easily make the factors of this equation so that uh, uh, here first uh, we need to take common m from the first two terms so that when we take common m the remaining terms are n minus 13 and here we take common minus 13 then we get here n minus 13 is equals to 169 so uh, after this step uh, you see here we have n minus 13 be the common factor so that we take common n minus 13 and here we get the remaining terms are m minus 13 is equals to 169 so uh, after this step uh, you focus in the left hand side and you see here in the left hand side we have uh, in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so now here uh, we need to, to convert this 169 into the product of two form two in numbers form but here you remember uh, one thing is that the product of both of these numbers are positive integers okay so here we write this 169 as 1 times of 169 is equals to 169. Uh, similarly, we have 169 times of 1 is equals to also 169. And 
we have 13 times of 13 is also equals to 169 so it means that we have three possibilities in which we get the product of two numbers a product of two positive integers is uh, 169 so now here we make the left hand side with uh, these three cases so this is the our uh, first case uh, this is the our second case and this is the our third case okay so now here we uh, first compare our left hand side with the case number one uh, so uh, when you compare with case number one and uh, this will be written as uh, so this is case one and we write it as n minus 13 is equals to one and m minus 13 equals to 169 so here uh, in this case uh, uh, this equation is implies that n is equals to minus 13 plus 1 now we write it as 1 plus 13 and 1 plus 13 is equals to 14 so here you get the uh, first value of n similarly in this case we move this to minus 13 in the right hand side and we get m is equals to 169 plus 13 so uh, 169 plus 13 equals to 182 okay so uh, this is the uh, values of m and n which we get from the uh, first case uh, and similarly now we move towards our second case in this case uh, now we compare both of the uh, uh, sides uh, in case number two so in case number two we have the first value is 169 the second value is one so we write it as uh, n minus 13 equals to 169 and m minus 13 equals to 1 similarly uh, this uh, equation is implies that the value of n is equals to 169 plus 13 uh, is equals to 182 this is the value of n and similarly in this case we get here the value of uh, m is equals to 14 so these are the two values of m and n which we get uh, from second case and similarly we move towards our uh, case number three so in third case we compare our left hand side with these values and we write it as n minus 13 equals to 13 and m minus 13 is equals to 13 okay so uh, in this case uh, here we move this minus 13 in the in the right hand side then you get here n equals to 13 plus 13 so 13 plus 13 equals to 16 so this is the uh, third value of n which we get uh, here from case number three uh, and similarly uh, from this case we move again this minus 13 to the right hand side and we get here our m is equals to 13 plus 13 is equals to 26 sorry this is the 26 okay so uh, this is the value of m so this is the final answer of this question we get here the three uh, possible values of m and n and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos